Halo reveal. Kyle, happy, happy, happy Kyle. Halo reveal. We get to see the ring. We get to see the ring. The ring world. I don't want to. You can't lie to me. I don't want to. You wanted to see no. it. It was right there. It was green. That was extremely draining. I have very little emotions left in my body anymore. Pablo Schreiber and his sister or lover or something creepy touched. She asked him to touch his thing and they did. And together they went to Hawo. And now they know where the Hawo is. And now the hunt can go on for the Hawo. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay, that did make me happy. Uh, uh, ha -woo -woo. Uh, <laughs> oh, but yes, what Arch just described is actually the entire episode. Effectively, and very, very well. It is, that, that, that describes episode six. I forget its name already. And uh, yeah, the Halo reveal. Turns out, guys, I'm sorry, but apparently the video games and the books are wrong. The Pillar of Autumn, you know, jumping randomly in slip space to escape the, the, ba the Battle of Reach. Uh, turns out that that was actually not how they found the Halo. It wasn't by accident. It was actually uh, Pablo Schreiber and uh, Covenant Girl, uh, like, spiritually... Monkey. Like, Monkey was in it. Monkey. Monkey. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Pablo Schreiber and Monkey touched, and then their hearts and souls synced up. Their heartbeats, their, their pulses, and presumably their menstruation cycles unified as one. And that allowed them to see the how -woo -woo. I swear to God, they're gonna push a romance arc with those two. She struggles to figure out how the zipper works, but this is a separate issue. She didn't zip up her boobies so that Pablo could see her boobies. God. Like, you like what you see? <laughs> this was another one of those episodes where just nothing of any consequence occurs. It's like, it's. How long was this? Was this already another 40 minute or? Oh god, you're making me open this piece of shit again? Uh, it's, let's see, this one is approximately 48 minutes and 36 seconds. 48 minutes and 36 seconds, and we're back to having... We're, we're back to the drama that I don't care about. See, this is the issue. If I knew nothing about Halo, and I was just watching this show, I'd probably enjoy it more because I'd see Pablo and Pablo would be like, I was abducted as a child. Do yeah, the, the problem is, everything. It's not that. It's just a... <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> oh, he did do that. He, he unironically had a scene where he's like, two, where he's like, Oh no, I'm so confused. I was abducted by the, the, the fascist go, 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 government. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> like, he was very sad. They experimented on me. He was just a dribbling, whining, crying pool of mess. This There was a great meme I saw on Twitter, I'm going to paraphrase it a bit, where there was one where it's like the, the TV show where I basically that thing I just described, that crying, dribbling mess, versus the chief from the books is like, we have to save humanity at any cost. Like, no cost is too great. Like, it's just like, you know, the most chad chaddest thing to say. And then there's this show. Where it's like, my feelings, my feelings are worth more than all of humanity. Fuck the humanity. My feelings, though. <laughs> and there's the problem. Again, like, we return to the issue that this isn't Master Chief. This isn't a Halo show. It's a completely different story in a completely different universe with completely different characters. I don't want to watch Halo with Master Chief having a mental breakdown. That's not the point of any of this. And it makes me completely just disconnect with all the other characters. We've gone over this point already, but it is it is the deconstruction of it. Like we have, we had Master Chief as a strong, powerful hero character who saves the day. Now we have Pablo Schreiber who Oh, his helmet didn't have even make an appearance this episode. Oh no, he held it in his hands at one point. That was the thing. Did he? I can't remember. <laughs> yes, he held it in his hand for a for a moment there. Uh, and it's good. just Forget. it's Pablo Schreiber and his problems. God, it it just has nothing to do with Halo. And of course, not a single gunshot was fired this episode either. Yep. Mm-hmm. Or. Mm, yeah. Yeah. No gunshots. We have reduced the Spartan. We have reduced the Master Chief to just another crying character. 
Okay. They're just this is the emotionally problem. disturbed humans. That's all they are. Don't get me wrong. There is absolutely value in the story idea of, uh, you know, the, the impact of war on the human psyche, etc. There's absolutely lots to be to be had there in terms of story, but this isn't the setting to do it in. This isn't the character to do it with. Humanizing Master Chief by making him lesser, by making him into this... I mean, this entire episode, he's running around because he's become addicted to the to the Keystone, the, uh, the MacGuffin, dying slowly. And then the episode ends with him syncing up his, his periods and lining perfectly with uh, Covenant Chick and them seeing the halo. Uh, so yeah. the, the only thing that remains that makes Master Chief the main character, I guess this is actually a fairly good point too. In Halo, Master Chief was the main character because he was Master Chief. He was the hero, he was the guy saving humanity, he was the guy doing all of these cool things. He built up an enormous reputation for being the ultimate soldier, the ultimate warrior. Here, Halo Chief is the main character, not because he's particularly good at fighting, not because he's particularly impressive. We're told he's got a great resume, but eh. He's, he's the main character because he can touch the glowy thing and make the glowy thing show him a fancy holographic program. Yep, they've actually took away what made Master Chief valuable and literally made his value attributed to the fact that MacGuffin only reacts to him. Therefore, plot device can only work with plot character. Yes. And apparently it's not even unique to him. It's, it's two in a billion, so there should be probably thousands upon thousands of people out there in the galaxy capable of interacting with the things. So it, it isn't, Master Chief isn't even the main character because of his funky ass chromosomes. Master Chief is the main character because he happened to be near the MacGuffin. Yep. And it, it really doesn't, like, I'm struggling to understand how the MacGuffin, this Forerunner artifact, for some reason interacts with only this gene, which is not really how that works in Halo lore, but whatever. And it only works with that specific gene for what reason? I don't know. But that gene also has a receiver because how else would M Monkey Girl have like a the same reaction to him touching the artifact be despite being on the other side of the like base? Well, apparently it's it has a uh... <laughs> It has an uplink you can connect to and disconnect from the uh, the network. Covenant network or the Foreign Raid of the future. The writers have no idea what the fuck they're doing and it hurts. Like, this episode was actually painful. Like, the first half was just boring. The last half for me was just pain. Like, the whole sequence where it's like, it, Archer's teasing, it's like, he can't beat a halo. I'm like, I know you're right, but I don't want you to be. Hey, <laughs> Oh, and then it was and it was like that's not how they discovered the halos that isn't how any of this happened and they, i know they've already established it well, it's not you know it's not connected to the same universe well then what the fuck is the point why are you calling it halo the point Master is to Chief sell Chief? to sell the show that, that's what it is like you have a writer who has a story in mind it's a completely unrelated story and then he decides let's slap halo on it because that way people will watch it and he's not wrong that is exactly how this works if this show had been called a weepy soldier man and his adventures towards inner peace nobody would give a shit but it's it's not it's called halo and therefore people are still watching it that's why we're watching it <laughs> so that's just the only reason yeah, we wouldn't be watching it otherwise. Like, even so, the only reason... Okay, let's be real. The only reason why we're watching this piece of shit show is just for clicks. Like, that's it. Like, this show is awful. You shouldn't watch this show. It is an interesting case study in how not to write a show about someone's respective universe or a pre-established universe. Like, that's true. But this show is absolutely garbage. Like, there's not as... Even ignoring the fact, like, the Halo part, I don't think there's a single redeeming element of the show. It's boring without that. Like, when even when it does its own stuff, that's boring. Like, why... This show is... Bo it's just boring. What's fun about this show? Even the action scene, the, the last episode, right? That was only nice because we were so bored. We were so sick of them wandering around, waffling around, and doing nothing. Well... You're wrong, Kyle. There was something funny about this episode, and that was Captain Keys uh, phoning in his lines and the editor forgetting to dub in the proper version. 
Oh my god. Oh god, how did it how did it go? <laughs> I don't what? We gotta hold on. Was it one minute? I'll I'll just pull it up real quick and I can do it. Uh it was at uh, three minutes twenty-two. Three minutes twenty-two, hold on just a second. You saved a lot, 150 lives. 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 Mine included. Mine included. It, like, it doesn't even sound like him. There's a sequence at that point in the show where there's, like, the Captain Key's black guy, who's not black, by the way, but whatever, fucking comments on the fact that, you know, Chief, you saved people's lives. Mine included. Like, it's it doesn't even sound like the actor. It's very uh, weird. Like, there's one point in the early section where Master Chief is having himself a little bit of a whinge and Captain Keys comes up to uh, to console him and it sounds like the I, I don't know the, it sounds so casual and dumb like he he pronunciate he enunciates so weird that all of us just he would pause them and like what the hell rewind it like three times yeah no no that's that's what's happening like it was a bad take and they just forgot to dub in the lines or they couldn't be bothered to do a retake or something? You saved 150 lives. Boys. Mine included. <laughs> like, it's just... It's the most interesting part of this episode because it's one of those things where it's like, that's sloppy. <laughs> it's like the awful CG gun in the first episode where it tosses away the gun and you just see obvious CGI replica on the ground. It's like, that's weird. That's a bit cheap. Oh, yeah, no, that was bad. Oh, we haven't even talked about the plot of this episode, and the worst part is it's boring and long. Oh, Let's, hold on, let's get the worst one out of the way. Miranda and, uh, Halsey, mommy, daddy, mommy, daughter issues. Okay, that's the, that's the most boring one. Mommy, dad, daughter issues, but turns out, like, okay, they, Halsey invites Miranda over, because she's getting kicked out for some reason. I don't, I, who cares? And like, she's like, I need to talk to you because I feel bad and I'm emotional, but she's just using her. And so it's all fake. And I don't know what the purpose of that was other than she did something with her eye. Like, did you know that? Like, what was what was up with the eye thing? I. What's with the eye stuff in the show? <laughs> I mean, I would guess that she was copying her biometrics or something so it can break into her lab later. Yeah, something like that. And the best part is, like, Miranda Keys ends up taking over Halsey's lab because Halsey's taking the the fall and is gonna be basically put in some shitty facility somewhere far away. And the the they left in Dr. Halsey's lab, they left the cloning, like, machine thing with the ominous music that plays when Miranda sees it. And it's like, okay, they just left that there. It's like, oh, just leave all the evidence laying around, why don't we, for flash cloning. And of course, this Oopsie show, doopsie. too, it, like... It, it builds nothing. It's like, okay, well, we have to have this plot point about Halsey. So John realized that, that he was uh, kidnapped as a child and that uh, Miranda was mean to him. And without a trial, without an investigation or anything, because there is an investigation that John just interrupts, Miranda is just convicted and sent off to this random planet. And that's it. That, that's that plot point wrapped up, I guess. Arch has been constantly for getting Miranda and Halsey mixed up since today. <laughs> Halsey, Miranda, Halsey, Miranda, I don't even care. They're the same character, basically. It, it basically, like, it's... You can't even focus, like, remembering the character's name. Like, that's how bad the show is. <laughs> it was a boring episode. Oh, man. At least we didn't I think, see Quan this episode. That was nice. That No, we saw for that one brief PTSD moment. That's right. Little Chief had a PTSD moment. moment. Oh god, Chief and his... He, like, he's just got this jaw-quivering crybaby thing going on right now, and it's really awful. And he's like breaking down and having mental breakdowns. He's like, I'm fighting for fascist regime against misunderstood covenant. Uh, like, it's just awful. <laughs> and covenant chick, there's a point too. Cause yes, no, the human just took her in. I'm like, yeah, sure, this is fine. Oh, you were captured by the government, held as a hostage, were you? Hmm. Fantastic. They don't even handcuff her to begin with. They drag her all the way back home to their home base. And only when they're back there do they at least post a couple of MPs outside of her room. Yup. A couple. 
just a couple MPs, and on top of that, like, they don't really ask questions, like, when they quote-unquote interrogate her, like, Arch and I are sitting there, like, going, like, how do you know this? Like, she's like, uh, they did this with the artifact, and they did these things. Okay, if you're a prisoner of the Covenant, a genocidal race, firstly, why did they take you prisoner? They've never, like, captains, admirals they've captured, you know, governors, they just execute them. After they're done interrogating them for all their information. They, they kill them and they're done with them. What makes you so special? How did you escape? How do you know these things? He's a How come one. you- They taught her their language. Shits and giggles. It's like, why did- why are you a holy one? Hmm? What's- what's all these things connected? And they're like, nah, nah, nah. Why would you defect if they treat you so well? Hmm, there's a lot of things that just don't line up here. And they're like, nah, let's not ask those questions. Instead, let's let her start interrogating us about stuff. <laughs> she manages She's to a... keep her phase sword fingernail, too, because I, I guess humans can't detect that. It's like, wow, these fingernails look weird. Where's all these electronics? Pull it out and like, no, my laser fingernail. I like how she activates it. Like, when she whips her hand like it's a lightsaber, like, whoosh, the little it's this tiny thing. little... That's how you gotta do it. Tiny little... Dinky little light thing is like, I'm gonna get ya. <laughs> oh man, this episode sucked. He's, a uh, lot. She's accepted now. She'll undoubtedly be one of the uh, the wayfarers. Like, we can take you to the Hawawu. And then they'll do that. They'll go to the Hawawu and she'll report the position to the Covenant and then they'll show up and then maybe we'll have some more flashing lights. That'd be lovely gonna be great i wonder if they're even gonna reference like the fact that captain keys dies or that he's the captain of the pillar of autumn or that you know they accidentally like reach falls before they find the ring i you know, think that'd be maybe the reason why uh, captain keys was extra phoning it in today was because he finally read the part of the script where it's like you die next episode it's like where i don't fucking care anymore <laughs> well done this is my paycheck too why do i have to die kill pablo he doesn't care either <laughs> Kill Pablo, he doesn't care either. Oh my god, this this episode sucked. Like, the writers have no respect for the show. I, obviously, you can't really say much about the actors, but the actors who advocate for their helmets to be removed, Pablo, uh, you don't respect the fans, you don't respect the show. Don't lie and pretend otherwise. This is just a huge disservice. And after the mockery. amusing previous episode, too, at, least, at least that had stuff. What did it actually have? Like, think about it, it retrospectively. It had flashing lights. Oh, like, care about these flashing lights. That's not what makes Halo Halo, It is though. blinking like, lights. That's, that it, Halo is at more the core than that. of Halo, okay? I do it in no. armor. I see quibby quabby thing. Quibby no. quabby thing no. make flashing lights at me. My health go down. I make flashing lights at quibby quabby thing. It stops moving. Victory. Move on. The action, the action was childish at best. Like, honestly, we've been, we've been so starved for content. We're become, de we're becoming delusional. Okay, the previous episode was garbage. It was never good. Nothing about it was good. This episode only confirms that. Ugh, we're trapped watching a god awful show. Can't How many does episodes not left? Understand the glory of flashing lights. No, I care about Halo, not flashing lights. Now, we have three more episodes to go, because nine episodes this season. See? My god. I knew right? this would no, happen. 12. To begin with, when I dragged you into this, you were like, I won't really care. I know Halo is dead. And I knew a few episodes of watching it dra dragged through the mud. A few hours of watching the carcass slowly disintegrate. And there'd be a small tear forming in Kyle's eyes. He goes, I used to like this thing. I still like Halo. I don't like this. <laughs> Why are they doing this to my thing? They can't take away my hey woo 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 woo. <laughs> oh, this is awful. Oh, this is. I'm so bored. Like I almost fell asleep in my chair watching this episode. If I would, if I didn't get upset at the stupid ring reveal, I would have probably fallen asleep. The hey woo woo. The hey woo woo. And how trippy and magical they make it. It's like, dude, the Halo rings, spoiler alert, they're f they they wipe out life in the galaxy. Yet they're treating like, oh, it's so magical. <laughs> and they start skipping around. Oh, that was so weird. 
the thing is, like, this is just another part of their their view for Master Chief. They're gonna have him be the main character that's gonna find the way to the Halo and that's gonna guide humanity, blah blah blah. And the two chosen ones will probably broker some kind of peace between the Covenant and the humanity at the end of the day. As they'll be oh going, like, hold on, these aren't uh, sacred, they're boom boom sticks. And the both sides will be, oh my god, you're right. What, what never happened in lore, because they're like, uh, the Halos will wipe out all life. And the Covenant's like, no, no, we'll get to go further on the great journey. It's like, no, 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 <laughs> don't activate those. Maybe that'll be the thing that turns her to the side of humanity and Pablo Shriver's pee-pee. And she's like, I tried to explain to the prophets. They called me a whore and threw me out. They called me a whore and threw me out, but you like me, Pablo Shroblo. Shroblo, fuck, whatever. And blinky blinky, you know, cutesy. Oh my god, though. Cool. The romance, I, you can feel it in the air. You can feel love in the air. Like, it's there. And it's awful. Awful. Every time they interact, they get super emotional with each other. Ooh. And it just... Pablo Schreiber and Covenant Girl. You know what's gonna happen? You know what the, you know what the best part Whoa. of this is? No! We've only got three episodes left. One of those episodes is gonna have to be going to the ring. One of those episodes is gonna have to be having a little bit of fight over the ring. So we're one episode down, and we didn't see Quan at all in this one. Which means the entire next episode would be nothing no! but Quan. <laughs> no, be quiet! Oh, because they need to make sure that her story gets her to the same point in which she ends up on the ring too for some fucking mystifistical reason. Or even better, no! they just forgot about it, forget about her entirely and just move on. I, you know, that would be the preferred outcome. But even this show is too bad to forget about that, because it remembers every painful plot point. That's the problem. You almost wish it would forget. It's like, oh yeah, Halsey's killed children. Let's make Master Chief cry about it for about like the on and off for about the entire episode. 48 minutes of whiny Schreiber waddling around going <laughs> blubbering from one frigging scene to the next. Oh, that was painful. Humanizing They've... Master Chief was a terrible idea. Blubbering Crybaby Chief. That That is this show in a nutshell. Crybaby Chief. That That's what we have now. I can't believe that we've had an adaptation of Crybaby Chief. I don't think I've ever thought those words in my head, even, before today. But, hey, we got them now. And, uh, it, it, it's pretty bad. It's about as bad as you'd expect, honestly. The problem is, again, this is just not the story they want to tell. They didn't want to make a Halo TV show, and they're still not making a Halo TV show. It's glorious. But it, it, it is also unavoidable. This is simply just, yet again, the deconstruction of a setting, taking it, slapping on the name just so they can hopefully get some attention. It's what ruined Dawn of War 3, and it's what's going to ruin the Rings of Power, probably, too. Which has been flying under the radar for a little bit, which is, uh, maybe good. Perhaps they've learned a lesson? No, they haven't. Maybe they've cancelled it. Well, that would be so lucky. Oh, God. But... We know where this is going to go from here. The plot itself, the actual main plot, the interesting part, quote-unquote, is still fairly predictable. Luckily, Quan disappeared, so we'll, we'll get an entire episode of Quan taking over her planet next, which will be very enjoyable. So I took over my planet. How is the plot going to be contrived so that my decisions are justified? <laughs> How are they going to justify that, hmm? I don't know. Maybe Master Chief will go rogue and uh, he'll fight for the resistance against the UNSC and the Covenant. It's like, yes, splintering humanity against an overwhelming force that is going to obliterate us no matter what, even if we are united. Yay! <laughs> how far, how fast can humanity collapse? Let's, let's find out. Let's... Well, from what we've seen so far, like, there, there doesn't seem to be much of a war going on, so I'm sure they can survive. That Covenant seemed to be an in no hurry to do anything, so... That's true, there was like a... a bitch-ass little, you know, border skirmish with the, the artifact. Only 150 marines died. Which honestly, considering the fact that they glass entire planets, that's pretty good, actually. 
Yeah, so far the Covenant has carried out one little skirmish on an unaligned planet with some random rebels, uh, where some of those died, and then the entire Covenant force got slaughtered by Master Chief. And we've had one little fight on a no-name rando-ass planet in the middle of nowhere that was designated as a development project. Basically, well, nothing has happened so far. Oh, there was that one other incident, but that was even smaller than the other two. That was when the Covenant abducted that little girl. And they killed- they- 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 I don't know if they killed anybody, but they like threw a dude. No, that was it. They threw a dude. Oh, and then there was that boarding scene. That was really bad. Oh, that was bad. Oh, no. The worms. Oh, I didn't want to remember that. <laughs> worms. On the bright side, the closer we get to the Hawawu, the closer we are to an actual fight over the Hawawu. And if nothing else, the flashing lights will keep me entertained for a brief period longer. A brief period, he says. You know you'll be in pain. Don't lie. There's no reason to care anymore. I will be fine. I have flashing lights. <laughs> flashing lights. The comment section will join me in their adoration for flashing lights. Remember, blinking lights are the height of entertainment. And do you not forget it? That's almost like justifying what this show is doing. Yes. Better not side with the blondie simps. You better side with me! This show is trash! Even the action's trash! <laughs> True. Heretic. We do not understand the glory of flashing lights. This so is our civil will be war arc. Yeah, this is our civil war arc where we fight each other. It's only gonna get worse. It, you know? It happens. Every Everybody has it. We have more character development on this friggin' podcast than we do in the Halo show. Oh no. The point of view of the flashing lights will be victorious. <sighs> There's not even anything else to talk about this episode, so I'm just gonna end it there. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. there will be more flashing lights next time, I promise. No, I don't.